God bless y'all. This is all we want you to do is just know the name, the real name. That's all we want you to do, know the real name, because that's what the scriptures say. The scriptures say that every deed shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Christ is Jesus. It's not Jesus, it's Yahusha. And here's the other one. Mm, mm, mm. Don't forget in Romans 10 out of 10, if you confess with your mouth, Yahuwah, Yahushah, Yahusha, and believe in your heart that Yah, which is God, has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So we don't need to trivialize the name. Some of that, well, we're not trivializing, but you, but you, you're not. I think it's now, it's time. The people around want to know the name. The name. They want to know Yahoo, Yahuwah. He's he's the personal name of God, Yahuwah. Come on now. And then the fact is Yahusha. You confess your mouth, Yahusha. Huh? You said, oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Well, you know, that is from the, that's not a Western name. That's a, that's a, that's a African name. Or you can call it a, 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 a Asian name. Or, you know, they do, they, they're so close together. You can say, well, the Middle Eastern, that's a Middle Eastern name. It's not a Western name. But it's a name above all name. It's a name that instead of asking my name. That's all we wanted to get to. That's all I think is more important for you to know. His name. We're not changing. See, look, the thing about knowing his name is not to change what he did. He got on the cross and he died for us and he was buried and he rose again. Huh? Mm. I'm just saying this. We need to get to know the name. Because the name is above every name, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Yahusha is Lord. And know the fact is that Yahuwah, which is God's name, means behold the hands, behold the nail, or behold the nail, or behold the hands. A six thousand times in the Old Testament just for us to know I'm sending you a Savior and you will know him by his hands and by the nail in his hands because he died on the cross for you. He redeemed you. He paid the price for you. And that's what we want to get to know. And we need to spread the word. Tell your pastor, tell the pastor, I ain't worried about you confusing me because I now know. I can Google up the name Yahuwah. I can Google up the name Yahusha and recognize that that is the name. And then you're not confusing me. You're not discouraging me. You are helping and enlighten me to know his name. And that's all we want you to do. So as we go in there and listen to these studies, as we continue to proclaim the gospel, the Besorah, that's what that means, the good news, the glad tidings, Oh, we're going to make a difference. You will make a difference in your life, in everybody else's life, because you're rising and shining for the light has come. Amen? Hey, this is at the end of this study, but it's also the beginning, because I'm going to put this piece in the beginning so that we can wrap it up. You'll know that you're at the ending when you see the same thing I just said. God bless you, and I hope that you enjoy. Now, Listen to the message and let's continue to grow because it's time. God winked at ignorance. Now ignorance is no longer an excuse. Amen. All right. If you lay with somebody, and that's what mm -hmm. the world has done, right? The world mm -hmm. system tries to oh, look, put you, make you in their image. Yeah, they, they want you to follow them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's all about following their lead. Mm. You know, and if you go against that, then you're like you say, you're woke or mm -hmm. you know, you're 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 labeled as something other than. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but yeah. if 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 you're not excuse me, if if you're not pleasing the flesh, mm. Mm. then you are an outsider. And, an outsider. You, and people can't understand why you would choose to deny <laughs> yourself. So if, if 
if everybody wants to go to the club and okay. you don't want to, then mm. everybody got an issue with you. something strange about you, something wrong with you. Something wrong with you. You are not. <laughs> You 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 you're not pleasing your flesh, so uh -uh. you're not one of us. So, no, so you don't fit in. And 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 they trip out. And I think so now. Like going to Zamba now, people is that they don't want to say Yahusha Yahua because they know that you won't. They won't fit in anymore. Mm -hmm. And and instead of sitting there worrying about you confusing the people. You want them to fit into the pattern that society wanted you to fit. I think that's the key, right? They 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 don't want to confuse you for what the, the society has molded you to be. Not enlightened, but to line up with that. You know, last week we talked about law and order. Yeah. There, there's the other word they're saying there's an order of things. And you we gotta make you line up with the order of things. Somebody even told me, we talked about it before, it's this, it's this uh, analogy of coming into the military. And 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 the guy was sitting there, they said when they did the uh, slave trade, and they talked about the Hebrews in particular, <coughs> I mean, they used braids, right? Hair was mostly braided, mm -hmm. right? They cut, they shaved their heads. Mm -hmm. And and when you go into the military, what's the first thing they do? They cut your hair. They, they, they shave. They, they assimilate you the best way they can. They they got to take away your identity and give you your this. identity. They give you a new identity, right? You yeah. recruit first of all. First of all, we're gonna call you a recruit. You you a, you a slug. You yeah. you a magnet. You you're you a you, 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 you you the worst of the worst in our in our military. You know you we we're gonna break. We're gonna tear you down. Yeah, we're gonna take your worldview away from you, and we're gonna give you a new worldview. And when you come out of it, oh, you gonna look. Good standing. What's that middle song? Standing tall and no, no, y'all may not do that. Yeah. But standing tall and looking good. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You you we wanna create we're gonna form you, conform you to our image. Cause then when you show up at your next unit, all of a sudden you look, look what happens when you show up at your next unit. Yeah, you at the bottom yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> but but you also notice that you the 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 view the world view that they put you in as a recruit is totally different from once you get in. Yeah, you see, in other words, you see the people who've been in longer. They're they're not acting and conforming to the strictness of, yeah, of behavior. There's a more lax uh, <laughs> lifestyle that they have yeah. than the lifestyle that they got you living by. Exactly. But you it do was get confused. there for a purpose because the constraints <laughs> got you away from self-identification. Yeah. And it got you into to uh the identity of being a a, a man of arms. Ah, yes, but, sir. But the crazy thing is they strip your view of society. <laughs> Yeah. Because prior to, you know, growing up, I thought those who were in the military were the weakest and yeah. and and were sellouts, you yeah. know, and and why would you be a part of something to die for something that doesn't care about you? That was my and that, view. That yeah, my and, and, and and it's interesting that we're a view is to die when you know uh who's what the like Pat said uh uh no I'm I'm I rather let you die for your country. Yeah. Uh we 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 not we not coming to die for our country. We coming to to win and yeah. kill you. We coming to reap the benefits <laughs> from because we have those who will die <laughs> for the benefits that we want. Yeah. 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 So, so yeah, that that was my my view, but but when I did join, it was after society failed me. 
yeah. in, in the fact that like what we talked about, the American dream, being able to 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 get a uh, a job that was a means to uh, sustain my life. And growing yeah. up in California, where the part of California where I was, it was it's very expensive. It's one of the most expensive places mm -hmm. uh, to be at, you know, living right there off of the ocean mm -hmm. in a tourist town. And being a yeah. tourist town, there's not a lot of industry there other than hotel, motel, you know, restaurants, and, you know, stuff to sustain tourists coming in. And so those jobs are far and few and in between that can sustain you. But there is also a lot of military. There was a big military base, army training base there. Right. There was, there's a Navy postgraduate school that's there. There's the Defense Language Institute where they create spies over there. And then there's a, there's a, uh, a uh, Coast Guard unit that's there. Mm -hmm. And okay. so everything that pretty much sustained everybody else there, but those jobs were far and in between, far and few, because mm. the 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 uh, the army training base left, <laughs> and so that just really put a strain. And then they Good. had like uh, Firestone; they had a big mm -hmm. Firestone company. It left. It left too. Go and uh, there was one other uh, big corporation that was there, and they left. So it really hurt the community, especially you know when 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 I'm coming up of age. So it mm -hmm. was, and it was almost like you had to look in the obituaries to see if somebody passed who had a good job, so you can run and try and get that Ooh. job. <laughs> that's Ooh. how that's how rough it was. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. So the, the, the military appealed in the fact that it can sustain me. Yes. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it give me a means to uh to be self-sufficient. And it's interesting because it did, with, didn't it? Yeah, it I did. had to deal with what I didn't like about it. But mm -hmm. once but like, but once you join, man, that identity that you had, they completely take that away to where civilians are like low, you know, like mm, I said, mm -hmm. everything is built up on top. You want to be above something. And as long as yeah. they can put you in a position that makes you above something, you're satisfied with whatever else that they mm -hmm. do. So, yeah. you yeah. know, civilians was the lowest. Yeah. And all you wanted to do was, you know, after a week or so, your your whole goal was not to be a civilian anymore. You wanted to get that uniform on so that you fit in and, and you wouldn't yeah. talk down upon. But mm -hmm. even you get a uniform, but you ain't got no labels or nothing on it. So now <laughs> you're still low. Yeah. And now you now you're trying to get, you know, your name and your your rank and everything else on your uniform. So now you're not just a, a what they called back. We had uh, uh, fatigues when I Fatigue, joined, yeah, which yeah, was the green, yeah. solid green, olive drab, olive green uniform. <laughs> so they called right. you a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> and so you didn't want to just be a pickle after you became a pickle. You wanted to be a canned pickle, meaning that you had your name and stuff on. <laughs> and so I then, like that. I like then that. The, then the next level was to get your blues on, your blue uniform. <laughs> Yes, so that was a higher level. So you were striving for that. Yeah. So once you got yeah. that, you know, they had that system set up to keep you striving and to get your mind wrapped around this lifestyle and to to make you to mold you into something that they can do something with. Well, like that, because yeah, it is if matter of fact, there there's an order of things that you both a clown or a ladder, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You 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 both move from the airman to the to to the to the sergeant and the staff sergeant to yeah. the, you know what I mean? Yeah. All those ranks that it is clearly different. Position. You start at yeah. the bottom and go up, but you know what's crazy? What's that? The lifestyle of a believer is completely opposite. You get in to be a servant. Mm. <laughs> so so whatever you had, 
you lose, you you lose yourself, you take up a cross of someone else, and then you follow that person. You know, it's funny. Let's go back to the military too, again, too, though, is that it gets you to deny at least who you were. You know what I mean? You you do deny yourself. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You become you deny at least who you were. Yeah, you deny who That's, you were. Uh -huh. and now you're focusing upon elevating yourself. Yeah. By being more, by denying yourself even more. Because Ooh, you, lose, you lose even more of your identity. The the more rank you have, the more you lose your identity. Yeah. Because now you have more responsibility. And the Come responsibility is not for self mm. or mm. The, the the bigger picture. Yeah, for the you team. Yeah. It's to, establish, yeah. It's, it's to establish the military might. And so, yeah, if we can take that mindset, the mindset yeah. it in this <laughs> lifestyle, it and 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 that's what it's all about. It's it's denying yourself. Interesting, yeah. Picking up your cross, which is yourself, your flesh. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Pick yeah. up your flesh, and you follow Yeshua. Yes, yeah, Yeshua, yeah. I like that. Because that's exactly what, that, that. I mean, that's a good parable, isn't it? Analogy, anyway. The military to what yeah. we're talking about in oh, the, yeah. the scriptures, you know? Because if you deny yourself, you would show mercy and grace, because he said to show mercy yeah. and grace, right? To yeah. your fellow man, yeah. But the the system has twisted it from, especially when he merged the, especially when the Catholic Church or Rome merged other things into the 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 proclaiming of the gospel. Yeah. Because remember, it's about the good news. But you know, the crusade is not about a good news, is it? It's about conquest, the doctrine of discovery. It's not about sharing the good news. It's about conquest. It's about taking somebody. You heard your doctrine discovery before, right? Mm -hmm. if, did I talk about that, right? It's, the fact is that if you showed up, Christopher Columbus and all these other people, when they was exploring, if the place does not have Christians, it is considered unoccupied. So you can discover it now because it's unoccupied. Mm -hmm. Even though you can see some people in front of you, it is unoccupied. And then we then you can sit there and slam babies to rocks in the rocks. You know what I mean? You yeah. you can you can enslave the people to go find that gold that you want, right? You you can do all kinds of things once you label somebody. Yeah. What your world wants them to be. That's, 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 and that's the caste system. I like you said about the caste system yeah. is 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 fixed. Yeah. Isn't it? It's fixed. Yeah. And and Christ is trying to say, I need y'all to deny yourself and be mindful not of the things of man. And mm -hmm. yet that's what we've been imposed on, isn't it? The things of man. Yeah. That's and he it. wants us to deny ourselves. And when he denies ourselves, what did he say want you to do? Oh, oh he yeah. said it's about the prophet, then because you're getting ready to say, uh, you the 35. Yeah. Yeah, so he says, for, so, for whosoever will save his life shall mm. lose it. Mm. And meaning that if you live after that flesh, you're going to lose that flesh. Yeah. The, yeah. The, everybody loses the flesh. So why why invest in it? Because it's mm. But whoever mm. shall lose his life for my sake mm. Mm. and mm. the basura, the gospel, the same shall save it. Yeah. Here's a key word right there, isn't yeah. it? Coming up. For what shall it profit a man mm. <laughs> if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Mm. Man, that makes mm. it personal. Mm. Personal, individual, right? Because it's talking about your soul. Yeah. But and, this and is I think... crazy. Look, who on earth is going to gain the whole world? Yeah. You know, what, what? how can you gain the whole world? So we gain a little bit of this world and yeah. we still lose our soul. But if you could gain the entire world, <laughs> mm. 
and 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 lose your soul, you you it still doesn't profit you. Nah, exactly. He's trying to say what matters is your soul, yes. your eternal life. Yes. You're here only for a little while. Yes. I heard somebody talking the other day and said, I can't take nothing with me. You know what I mean? Yeah. When you leave, everything you have just goes to whoever. Man, it's, it's, you know, I always and have always tried to understand my being. Yeah. Meaning, meaning my, my thoughts, my awareness of self. Mm. And after this flesh is gone, how that continues on. I can't, my brain cannot figure out how that mm. ceases. Mm. to exist, how I, my yeah. soul, the energy that is me, ceases mm. to exist. And, and it blows my mind. It's just so, it's it's so non-understanding that people can think that that's just it. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. That, that, that they are just it. What the voice that I have, the thoughts that I have, the energy that is me, just ceases and that's nothing. How, mm. how 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 does how do you wrap your mind around that? Yeah. I how, know. How, do you, how do you how do you you know this energy has to go somewhere? This being has to it has to exist somehow, somewhere for it just to stop for me to just stop. And then that's that's that it's finite and there's there's nothing more. No, nope. I can't that's what he said. Yeah. I, I cannot understand it. I cannot fathom it. I cannot make sense of anyone who who thinks that way. Mm -hmm. and, and and my belief is 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 my in my being, in myself, everything of me knows that there is something after this physical realm. Yeah. And to lose me. Oh, yeah. To right. lose me. Right. Is 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 so finite. It's mm. so it's so you know because I have I have a control over this right now. I can and move see, in this in this it, realm. I can make it, choices in this realm. Mm -hmm, but to mm -hmm. lose that in the next realm to where it is fixed and it's in a place where it is an eternal suffering. Mm. It is a eternal torment that yeah. there is nothing but agony and gnashing of teeth to be yeah. in, in suffer for the remaining existence of awareness is is beyond the 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 capability of my understanding. Who wants that? Wants that. To be made aware of that is what our mission is. Right, and you know, don't forget, some people kill themselves. Yeah, but even 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 doing that, uh, falling on a sword, you know, yeah. uh, I, I I still. I can't see how that would cause you to lose your soul. As these scriptures say, because maybe it's the fact that you are cutting the opportunity to save a soul. Well, you you are you well, your purpose anyway, right? Yeah. Because he put apparently he put us have he given all of us a purpose. Yeah. Even if you talk about the scriptures saying that go preach the gospel, that yeah. I give you a purpose, yeah. right? But to glorify God, yeah, is is and, and instead of man, and that's what we end up doing, and that's why he said deny yourself because you're not you're mindful of the things that has no eternal profit in it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to say what a temporary profit, right? And my what he said right here, and then verse thirty eight. What was that? So whoever this, whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this mm -hmm. adulterous <laughs> oh. and sinful nation, whoa, 
of him also shall the son of Adam be ashamed. Mm. He comes in the glory of his father with the holy angels. Yes, sir. That's what he's trying to say. Hey, you, you're shame of me. And yeah. you know what? I was thinking about when we're talking about denying yourself. Yeah. Look what he well, look what he makes you. What's that in Peter? I think it's in Peter, right? You of holy nation. Yeah. You peculiar people. You've been called out of darkness yeah. into his marvelous light. His marvelous light. Glorious. Isn't that glorious? Do you know what scripture that is? So we can close I'm gonna close up with this because we can't get ready to get out of here. <laughs> what, what was it? What was that, it? I, Peter? I, I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. Priesthood. Let's look at it. Let's look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Look it up. Because when we deny ourselves, he's trying to say, I'm giving you something. And not only that, I'm, I'm giving you a mansion too, right? But 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 in this daytime he called first, you up. First Peter two and nine. First, first Peter, Peter two nine. Peter. Okay, let me get there. Let people see who he get, he's giving you a uh, an identity that uh, you can actually uh, appreciate. Man, I love this. It's First Peter. Yeah, man, I'm uh -huh. ready for this. I, I can put this on a t-shirt. <laughs> Come on now, come on. Yeah. I've been called. I've been chosen. You've been chosen. I've been a I'm a chosen generation. I'm a come royal on. priesthood. A, a yes, sir. Priest. I'm a I... peculiar person. Whoa. And I set forth the praises of whom who have called me out of the darkness and into his marvelous. Come on, Ooh. man. That don't oh, <laughs> like you I think that time you showed look I'm still using that the the showing up in that Bible study <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's light was shining yeah on you huh yeah it was a light that was shining I was, look I was called out of darkness <laughs> It, 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 look, the light blinded you for a moment because you're trying to say, what, 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 what is this? this? What, are what is this? Man, what are you are talking, talking about? about? I'm whole now. But then we, and a lot, we don't even, we don't even say this scripture much, do we? No. We, we, we don't really try to tell people that you are a royal priesthood, your holy nation, you're peculiar people. Yeah. You've been enlightened. Cause when you call her in darkness, you've been enlightened. If be called out of darkness, means you have been enlightened, huh? Mm -hmm. You you have you have now uh, awakened. But that's 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 why I'm sitting there saying that thing about that woke is is because I don't want to wake you up. Yeah, that's the push against the wokeness. You you you're not you're not woke anymore. You've been call out of darkness. And I gave you a better identity because the identity you had was not a royal priesthood. The identity I gave was not a peculiar people. The identity I gave was not a holy nation. Huh? Yeah. That changed something, ain't it? That, that, that's something to, that's that, something that's to chew on. That's, that's and, and, and that's part of the gospel. Yeah. 